like those who met us before. Our time is one of great contests, high stakes, and clear choices. The essential divide that runs all around the world and throughout history is once again thrown into stark relief. It is the divide between those whose thirst for control deludes them into thinking they are destined to rule over others, and those people and nations who want only to rule themselves. I have the immense privilege of addressing you today as the elected leader of a nation that prizes liberty, independence, and self-government above all. The United States, after having spent over two and a half trillion dollars since my election to completely rebuild our great military, is also by far the world's most powerful nation. Hopefully, it will never have to use this power. Americans know that in a world where others seek conquest and domination, our nation must be strong in wealth, in might, and in spirit. Wars that never end. The United States lost 60,000 factories after China entered the WTO. This is happening to other countries all over the globe. The World Trade Organization needs drastic change. The second largest economy in the world should not be permitted to declare itself a developing country in order to game the system at others' expense. Kim Jong-un, what I truly believe, that like Iran, his country is full of tremendous un The United States does not seek conflict with any other nation. We desire peace, cooperation, and mutual gain with all. But I will never fail to defend America's interests. My fellow leaders, the path to peace and progress and freedom and justice and a better world for all humanity begins at home. Thank you. God bless you. God bless the nations of the world. And God bless America. Thank you very much. Thank you.